Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. So what's going on, Dar? We're out at the Franket supermarket in Tuvat, waiting for our nephew and his new fiance to arrive from Dubrovnik. We're pretty excited. They're our first guests on board Let's Dance for this summer. Yeah, we push off in about a week's time, so they're going to hang out here with us for a week. Pat and Em just arriving from Dubrovnik. I think it's their bus. <laughs> It might have been an early call. We'll see how we go. Here comes the sun. Here Take two. Sun. This could be at an M. Last one that pulled in was a mistake. It's not looking good. Another false alarm, I think. No, I think we have contact. Biggest man on the bus. This is us. Little darling, the smiles return. To the faces. Where are you off to? We're going to the hospital. Uh -huh. We're getting rid of these bloody things. <laughs> Don't. And I can't wait. <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. So we're donating your cripple gear, are we? Yeah. Somebody will really appreciate these in Montenegro because their medical facilities are not fantastic. So these guys are coming with us, Adam and Emily. And uh, yeah, we take them to all the good places in Montenegro. We're off to the hospital. What about this one? Oh my goodness. I think we're in the right place, honey. It looks like a hospital. Yeah. I'm not sure this is gonna work. So here we are at the hospital in Katoa. Trying yeah. desperately not get run over. And trying to find someone to give some crutches and a boot to. Proving to be really difficult. Oh, well, <laughs> we can't find good. anyone that wants to take Marita's crutches. <laughs> we might just have to stand them up alongside a wall and walk out. Okay. Um, I had a broken foot. Okay. But it's now okay. Okay. Can one of your patients use these? A gift. Zero? for the hospital. Maybe to help somebody? Okay. Just try this one. Thank you. It's proving very difficult to give this gear away. Maybe you should be maybe you should be asking for 20 euro. Fair treatment. Okay. Okay. Voila. Here it comes. First trip of the year this morning where we're going to head around to Kator and show Adam and Emily one of the most amazing parts of Montenegro. But we haven't gotten far. Yeah, you got a lead set somewhere? Yeah, inside. We went to turn on the yep. port and starboard yeah, motors yeah, and the port motor yeah. was dead. So we're pretty sure we've blown an MDI unit, the infamous MDI units with these Volvo Penta motors. Michael's just checking now to see whether that's the problem. And the fuse is okay. Fuse is good? Yeah. Alright, pass it back to me. Just going to give it a try again. No. Nothing. Give me those two bolts. Yeah. Here you go. And the scan. What are you doing at the moment, love? I'm ringing Volvo because we've done another MDI unit. Not happy. Non bene, Jan. It's Michael, mate. I have a boat down in Porto Montenegro called Let's Dance. And Alan gave me your number. He tells me you're the Volvo mechanic here. We've flown an MDI unit and I need someone, this will be a warranty job. MDI is definitely blown because I've just shorted it. Yes? 
Yes. Thank you. Let's dance. Yeah. Have a chat to your cowboy mate, see if we've ever rubbed anything this big. <laughs> <laughs> We had a bit of a false start to our trip to Couture today. Do you want to talk about the dreaded MDIs on these Volvo engines, darling? Yeah, we've been reasonably lucky with the MDI units. We've only blown one, but we have friends that have blown six of these units. And we kick our engines over. I kick them over every single week just for a maintenance position. I check oils, clean, and kick the engines over, just run water through them. This morning we're ready to go, take Ad and Ems around to Couture and we went to start the portside engine and our MDI unit failed. Volvo know about this and it was going to be a worldwide recall on these units, every single unit put out since 2015. They flew some guys out from Sweden here to Porto Montenegro the other day to work on a friend's boat. They've got a real issue with these units, but the good thing is I know how to short them out, so that's a bit of shorting wire. Pull the box off. Hang on, I just can get past this out of this ferry way. Yep. You pull the MDI off the side of the engine, flip it upside down, and they've got three wires, a start, a heat, and a ground, and you just bridge out your start to ground terminals, and the engine fires. Yep. So you're shorting out your MDI unit. It means, though, you've got no instrumentation on that engine, so yeah. you don't know how many revs you're doing on it, and if we shut that engine down now, we can't start it again. Without short shorting it. Getting down inside the engine bay and shorting it out. Yeah. And that's not something that you can do really quickly, that would probably take five minutes. Yeah, and at the moment we've got two ferries, one that's just crossed our path, and another one that's about to cross our path, so it's not ideal to not be able to restart your engine for any reason. What does MDI stand for? Mechanical diesel interface. So basically just an interface between the diesel engine and your electronics. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Little darling, I feel that ice is slowly melting. Little darling, it seems like... How's the water? Cold. Cold? Really cold. Are you going in for a proper swim? I don't think I will. Oh, come on, you said uh, you were going to. Yeah, I did say I was going to. And then I felt it. It's <laughs> alright. Yeah, I've had a swim. <laughs> You're a bloody wuss. Beautiful temperature. You must be eating. Nice. Yeah? Alright. Oh. I dare you. Rightio. <laughs> Start swimming this way. Well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, that's it. I'm not going in. <laughs> 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 yeah. I used to think maybe you love me. Maybe I'll be the sure. And I just can't wait till the Beautiful day. I'm walking on sunshine. I'm walking on sunshine. I'm walking on sunshine. Enjoy it feels good. Hey! Oh right now, and don't it feel good?
time for a little stop and something to drink. Well, hello there. Hello. Have a lovely day. It's hard not to here, isn't it? It's beautiful. Are you guys right? Yeah. yeah. This guy doesn't open until the 1st of May though. Oh, open. it's not open. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. The mm. view's open. The view's open. Yeah. I said, baby, I just want you back and I want you to stay. Wow. Oh, slow down, mate, slow down. Yeah. Not, a, not so fast. Oh, God. Give me a turn him around. Yeah. Do you want to save him, babe? Yeah, yeah. If you don't save him, I will. No, no, I'll get him. He's quite determined, isn't every, he? Every time I touch the bloody things, they shit all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking him? Have a side of the road. That's where he wants to be. In a shade. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, nicely done. Except he's got to walk up a great big hill now. Thank you, he says. Geez, that saved me a day's yeah. travel. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going today? Bosnia. Hello. Happy campers? Yeah. Bosnia via ferry. So we're going around the Bay of Kator over to the north and on to a little place called Trevene. You guys up for a trip to Bosnia? Absolutely. Yep. Another stamp in the passport. Yeah, <laughs> Bella. The only stamp collection I'll ever have. <laughs> yeah. No one directing traffic. No. Nah. You, <laughs> you just go round. Make it up yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Roadworks, Balkan style. <gasps> no signs. No nothing. Just get off the road, go round. We've climbed. You got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Look how far those two guys got after nearly killing themselves to get around the other truck. Crazy. Start from zero, got nothing to lose, and maybe we'll make something. Got those passports on us? Yes. Thank you. So we're at the border. All right, well, we're officially in Bosnia, guys. Bosnia. Somewhere you wouldn't have dreamt of going 20 years ago. Not on your life. We did have a slight drama at the border because we got special permission to take this car over the border and it comes in the form of a stamp on our car papers. But when we pulled the papers out of the glove box... The old mate said, oh my God, <laughs> his hand is a back. Yeah. We, gave him someone else's paperwork. We realised that this piece of paper that we found in the glove box is from 2015. It also happens to be a driver by the name of Michael with a surname starting with L. <laughs> this guy's from Israel and his paperwork has a stamp on it saying, attention, vehicle not authorised to leave Montenegro. So that was the problem. But when we found our paperwork, we're all sweet. He said, no problem. We got a smile and a friendly wave and uh, here we are. Welcome to Bosnia. And why have we come to Bosnia? Can anyone answer that question? Why have we come to Bosnia? For lunch? Yeah, that's it, for lunch. <laughs> it's because we can. It is a good question.
got a fast car Is it fast enough that we could fly away? We gotta make a decision Leave tonight or live and die this way Well we found a park in Tribunet but it needs a ticket and we don't have the right currency. They don't work on euros here. In fact, um, we know that <laughs> they have their own currency, but we're not sure what it is. So we're going to the bank to get some money. I had a feeling that I had a feeling I <laughs> we just had to go inside the bank and ask what, um, say, 10 euros is because we've got no idea what, what the deal is with this currency and we don't want to end up withdrawing a month's worth of money for a day like we did in Albania so she told us that 10 euros equals 19.72 of whatever these things are we still don't know what the currency is because she didn't speak any English so we're just going to try our luck with the ATM machine and see what happens so two or three hundred a hundred and tell the world what the currency is in Bosnia? I'm not sure. I think it's ban. Ban. Okay, and we think that that's 50 probably, euro, but we're not sure. We probably should have Googled that. <laughs> we might have needed to do just a little bit more homework before we came to this country. We might be back several times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see what this will buy us and we'll go from there, right? Yeah, that's a good plan. Right up. Let's go. We go cruise and entertain ourselves. Look at the honey. Oh wow. What's that? Yeah. So I remember we were driving, driving in your car. Speed too fast for like I was driving. Silly last lay out before Silly I'm feeling nice wrap around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belong And I, I had a feeling I could be someone Be someone, be someone You got a fast car I gotta jump, pays all our bills Maybe together you and me fine And I got no plans, I ain't going nowhere So take your fast car and keep on driving So I remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast, I felt like I was drunk Sitting last night out of horse And your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I Had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone Yeah, straight down It's the skinny little road that we came up on Leave tonight, live and die this way Double done. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's we can't get any higher. Wow. Traffic jam. 
looks like we're going nowhere for a while. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Are you going to walk all the way into town? She is. She's on a mission. It's probably quicker. <laughs> Why are we stopped? I don't know, but I've got a game of squash at five o'clock. Yeah. We think that they're re asphalting the road and we're all stuck here. But there's kilometres of traffic now, and we've been here for what, half an hour? Yeah. How's your holiday going, guys? Good. Love it. Yeah? Great. Very relaxing. Great. <laughs> The view. How's the serenity? There's worse places to be waiting on roadworks. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Pretty nice. Now we're going to be here for an extra hour. <laughs> we're worried there's going to be a revolt because all these cars are going down to the bottom, all jumping the queue. This bloke's had enough. Yeah. That. This guy here has decided to block anyone from jumping the queue. Yeah. Good on him. Yeah. It's going to be mega. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Stored what? Uh huh. Yeah, very. The neighbor is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very beautiful. <laughs> is it regulation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no good, no good. Here we are. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> Oh, the motorbikes are coming back now. Well, I hope that's a good sign for us. This is actually like being at. That's like being at the Moto GP. It is, yeah. This is fantastic. People are getting back in their cars down here. We're moving out. Moving out. All aboard. It's actually, they haven't gotten far yet. Yes. We're out of here, hopefully. So we're still here in uh, Porto Montenegro. Ad and M left us the day before yesterday, and we didn't have the camera at the airport today when we picked up our next crew. Hello. Say hi to Matt and Brooklyn. So they've just joined us tonight. And we won't even Yeah. This all the way to the end, No, no. Always start at you. Always start, yeah. Always start with the trail of your life. Throw that at me. That's her. <laughs> Not wrap it off here. Brooklyn. Let me know before you leave. Did you get what you came for? No. 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 Right. Turn your loop the other way. Cut! <laughs> no, so that's not what I just did. Nah. No. You did another figure eight. Ah. Do one more. Alright. Figure eight and half inch. That's it. Perfect. Show us how it's done. I do two? Yeah. And lock it up. <laughs> Did you get what you need? Let me know before you leave. Did you get what you came for? So what's this not you're doing, Matt? Not the bowline, because that's wrong. Get <laughs> <laughs> me looped wrong way. Right. If it ain't enough, Is that correct? That's correct. That looks really good. Well done. Thank you. That's right. That's what I'm doing. That's wrong. Yeah. Because 
look, let's well, let's finish that. Let's well, I have been, happens. I've been finishing that quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do anything. Exactly. That's why. Doesn't make a knot. <laughs> Your I boat's just, floating away by this point. I just think of it as okay, I got my tail. There's a world at your feet when you're standing next to me. That's it, yeah. That's it. And then up. Around. Yeah. And down. That's nice. Through colouring my hair and getting rid of all the grey bits, and we ran out of water. <laughs> we're trying to do these guys washing, and it's all gone to hell. Oh, it's been a mission. <laughs> We've done it though, we're nearly there. Yeah. yeah. Haven't filled the tanks for about a year and a half because this is a boy job. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Sorry about the bad hair. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I need the wind <laughs> Matt and Brooklyn have just done a load of washing and Brooklyn is strangely excited. Why would that be? It's too cold in Canada to hang anything out. This is such a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Is it? Really it? Is. <laughs> you can do this for two whole weeks. Oh, it's going to be a dream. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy with your enthusiasm, that's good. <laughs> See how you feel at the end of it. <laughs> How's your day been? Oh, Relaxing. We're looking at it. Yeah. yeah? All day. What did you have to do this morning for us to get ready to go? Oh, we unhooked some, uh, or untied some knots. And throw them in the water. Of the... Yeah. <laughs> it was a tough old boy. You had to go and get some bread. That was a big oh, job. Yeah. We've just commissioned the watermaker the other day inside the marina and we had a little bit of a smell of the water and it wasn't that flash. So no. we've just been through the process again and now it's time to test the water. So Why do I get to test it? I've smelt it. Still. I reckon it smells all right. I always feel nervous with the first glass of water of the year because, I don't know, years of working in laboratories just... If you get sick, we're close to a hospital. Yeah, that's right. Now's better than out in the Adriatic Sea. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah, I yeah. thought so. Yeah. Sweet. Happy with that? Yeah. Watermaker is back in business. Yeah. We're just about still. Oh, this is serious, <laughs> isn't it? You doing a backflip yeah. or what? Ready? Go. Let me know before you leave. Did you get what you came for? Did you nail it? How old are you next month, babe? Sorry? How old are you next month? 53. No, I don't think so. <laughs> are you? I thought you oh no, you are. Yeah, 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 that's right. Right, you better come down and untie our ladder because we can't get on. <laughs> now I'm going without you now that I've got rid of all you rowdy lot. I'm going to have a nice peaceful summer. End of another great day. You're on washing duty, Brooklyn. How's that going? Wonderful. Love this. What do you need for this? What did you guys get up to today? We climbed the bigger ass mountain. Did you get what you need? Let me know before you leave. Did you get what you came for? There's a world at your feet when you're standing next to me. Did you get what you came for? That's probably one of the best places that you can do your housework though, isn't it? I'm not gonna play.
let me know before you leave Did you get what you came for? There's a world at your feet When you're standing next to me Did you get what you came for?